The figure is made up of 8 identical squares, semicircles and quadrants. Each side of the square is 5cm. Find the area of the shaded part. Correct your answer to two decimal places. For this, being a shape question, there are usually two approaches. Number one, you either shift the shapes around or you cut it up and then you shift it around. For this case, we're going to do the second case, which is we're going to shift it around. Now, let's take note of this shaded part. One quadrant and then there is another quadrant over here. To make things simpler, imagine right now I'm going to shift this over here. This shaded part to occupy this space and this quadrant to occupy this space. Can you imagine the, sh the, the ending shape? Alright, you will just get a big semicircle over here whereby these two squares, these two squares within it, they are unshaded. Okay, so to repeat, after I've shifted this over here and this shaded quadrant over here, what I will get is one big semicircle with these two squares within it, they are unshaded. Alright. So to find the area of the shaded part, all I have to do is take this entire semicircle, subtract away these two squares, and that will give me the answer. Hence, let me first find the area of the big semicircle. There will be half times the area of the full circle which is pi times the radius being over here which is let me write it down 10 cm times 10 times 10 and that will give me 50 pi centimeter square Right now, I will just do everything in terms of pi, only at the final step, then I will compute it into the calculator and then round to two decimal places. If I were to compute the pi value immediately into the calculator, I will get a string of decimal places and then I will have to bring forward that string of decimal places into all my steps. It will get quite messy, so I will just do everything in terms of pi first. Moving on, now I'm going to figure out the area of the two squares. So area of two squares. And that will be 5 times 5 times 2, or you can just find the area of this rectangle. It's the same. So I'm just going to find the area of the rectangle. 10 cm times 5 cm. That will give me 50 cm square. The last step, area of the shaded part. That will be 50 pi centimeter squared minus 50 cm squared. Key all this in into the calculator. Remember to correct two decimal places. The answer is. 107.08 cm square corrected to two decimal place.